Hello and welcome back to Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, if you are an absolute beginner to Linux, you probably will have no clue what I am about to say. However, take my word that the Mate edition of PC Linux is quite good. For those of you who follow this channel, it'll, well, it's no secret that I love the uh, Linux Mint Mate edition. I have that installed on one of my machines and PC Linux Mate is also very, very good. Let's take a look at a brief piece of video I shot here about a couple weeks ago. And I almost forgot all about this. I actually installed this in an old 10-year-old ThinkPad. Uh, it it's, has multiple cracks, but hey, it still turns on. The screen itself is in cracks, so I installed it. Consider this a long-term, uh, well, a long-term test review, if you will. Ran pretty good. It ran a little slow running the screen recorder, but without that, I didn't notice any glitch, glitches or crashes. Very easy to navigate to and through. And as I stated, if you have an older machine, it's perfect for that. Even if you have a newer machine, again, this is an old uh, ThinkPad, less than a gigabyte of RAM, single core. I think this is a, this was tested on a Pentium uh, M1 gigahertz processor. I think the specs will pop here shortly so we can take a quick look. But overall, I was very, very impressed with the Mate edition of PC Linux. Uh, if you're interested, I'll have a link below in the show notes for you to check it out yourself. And I think it's, yeah, 756 gigabytes. Yeah, I wish. 756 megabytes of RAM. Pentium M. Pentium M processor, 1400 megahertz. Ooh, blazing speed. Well, maybe it was 10 years ago, right? I did say this was old, right? But hey, it works. Check it out if you have never heard of this or have heard of this and have been thinking about trying it out. Uh, well, it was worth my time. I may keep this for a while longer or until the laptop just, you know, craps out altogether. But for now, definitely check it out. I think you will like this. All right, well, that's it for this one. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. Uh, one last thing also, thanks to all of you for your continuing comments and suggestions on printers for Linux. It is greatly appreciated. I'm sure I speak for all of the uh, newbies or even if you're not a newbie, people who have been shopping for a printer for Linux want to know what works. Uh, definitely check out the uh, the two uploaded videos on Linux printers. I think it'll help you guys out. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks for all of, for, thanks for all of your support over the almost almost five years now. Welcome aboard, all of the new subscribers. And as usual, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.